Hey YouTube, it, it's Dowerton here. Welcome back for another episode of Super Mario Galaxy 2. I actually didn't mean to talk to this guy. We're just talking about like, oh, I've got six stars. It looks like it's kind of like an investment. Like the more you got in, the more you get back. But I can't really use it in the bank. Welcome back for another episode of Super Mario Galaxy 2. We actually got a lot of comments done. We actually, I'm, I pretty much finished with World 3. I just want my mic. I'm sorry about that. And now we're gonna go and head to the the boss, the boss. I, I love that I literally we're finishing most of these levels. We've got to still do the comet in the beat block, the blah, 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 beat block galaxy as well as Bowser Jr.'s fearsome fleet. Oh, this level. I actually don't remember a lot of these levels. Like it's kind of like cool. Like, I meant to like I remember certain aspects of each level, but not really that much. Bowser Jr.'s mighty mega hammer. It sounds good to me. I sounded like really Americanized then. But yeah, like I'm really, really in the mood to like play this game. I don't know why it's just been like so long since I played this game. Oh, I remember this. Fight. I remember this boss now. It's pretty cool. But like you know, when you get into a really interesting game, like interesting, I really want to keep playing this game. I love it so much. I I buy all the merchandise in the world. I find it weird how like like, like the jewel can literally just kill out those guys, but no one else can. Also, bullet bills. Oh god, damn, I'm really gonna I'm really gonna die this early on. Oh, we have to use the. Yo I thought these had a homing effect, but we're gonna have to use Yosh. Pick us up, aim, fire. And that is the concept for this level. Let's pick up a bullet bill here. That's actually a speed ring tactic. I can. Get up there. Cool. Oh, so we can't actually eat that as. Really? Oh. Okay. Okay. I'm, I'm still learning. I'm still trying to get this down, you know? The whole controls. I think Yoshi controls really weird. So that's my excuse for everything. Thank you for the bullet bill. Let's fire that over there. I'm pretty sure there's a chance that we probably will miss something here. Just due to the fact that, like, we have a lot of stuff to get. I'm gonna kill some of these guys, actually. Just to get them off my back, because if they, they keep spamming bloody bullet bullets at me, I can't. I'm not gonna be able to focus, am I? Jump. Let's go. I don't know why I'm doing the sound effects. Okay, activate the switch, and let's continue on. I actually do love this fact, this game though, like, it's just so cool. Also, if you don't bust this thing open, you will die because it will knock you off. So, yeah. There we go, I opened it up. And it's going to lead to a, a mini launch star. Stars. Yeah. Let's jump straight into it. Fly off, and we have to get to a checkpoint. We haven't found the comet medal yet. I actually don't understand why there's a comet medal in every single level. Ooh, actually, actually, I want to check something. I was checking to see if there's anything in there other than like an extra life. I'm a bro. No, bro. Really? I just killed myself? I literally just killed myself by getting on Yoshi. Oh, Yoshi, 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 what are you playing at? See, a lot of people say like the whole like. I, I'm, I'm just gonna mention this right now. Uh, I.e., doing planks, uh, the gym, for example, is like one of the hardest things to do just because like it's so stressful and it's so hard to do. But they're wrong because like. Planking, it does your abs, if you don't know it, it puts a lot of pressure on your abs or whatever. A lot of people believe, like... Ooh, what's up here? Oh, I said just an egg. Um, a lot of people believe, like, the whole... Oh, God damn it. Where is that bullet bill? Planking, in general, is just, like, pretty hard to do, just because it is putting a lot of pressure on your abs. But it's, like, all practice. Like, a lot of people say, like, oh, yeah. Um, oh, where is it now? What was I going to say? Um... It's, 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 it's like getting to, to the gym is like a workout. You can't just like, oh my god, there's a coin medal. There's a coin medal. Quick, run, run, run. No, no, I'm dead. <laughs> yeah, I can't make it. Um, a lot of people think like the gym is like um, hard, but it's all about like motivation actually getting yourself to do that thing. I.e., if you don't get yourself up, up off the couch or the sofa or whatever you want to call it, you're not going to be able to achieve what you want to achieve tomorrow. For example, like, which blows my mind that like. If you do that, like, um, like if you don't if you don't try, you're never gonna succeed. And that's one of the best um, ways to think about life in general. Because if, if I didn't like try, I wouldn't be in the position I'm in now. Like with my life is literally perfect. I have got the greatest friends ever. Um, I can do what I want when I want. No one's telling me what to do. I'm, I I, li I live alone. I own my own place pretty much. And I I, I I'm, I'm financially. Oh. Balls to you. Balls to you, serious. I'm gonna see if it actually comes back. I kinda hope it will. Let's wait it out. Oh my god, it does come back. Look. Yes. I love it. I love it so much. Where's the next one? Oh, here it is. Cool. But, like, I mentioned this, like, 
A lot of people do YouTube just for like, oh yeah, it's, it's a source of income or whatever. Yeah. Which you should never really think of like YouTube as that because a lot of people, yeah, do have careers online and stuff with, with, with the help of YouTube and stuff. We don't need you. Let's go and fight the boss. And that, that blows my mind, like, a lot of people do. That, that, that makes me sad, you know? Here comes Bowser Jr. What's he got to say? What's up? Don't you know when to quit? I'm going to enjoy taking you, you from this comfy confines of my robot cockpit. So, so you want a grand star, do you? Well, come on, tough guy. Let's see if you, you're any match for my mega hammer. Let's go. And yes, let's fight the boss. I really don't like talking about money on YouTube because because like it's kind of like frowned upon or whatever. But yeah, this boss is actually pretty easy from what I remember. Uh, he's gonna fire bullet balls every so often, as you can see, like pew. And you just like fire. And I miss. But like, it's actually one thing that's really difficult about this is like there's a certain um. Okay, I'm, I'm moving. There's a certain thing at the back over here. Like his little uh, back paddle, which is actually pretty hard to hit unless you do it like that. I, do you have to give him multiple hits? I can't remember. You do have to hit him multiple times. Okay, well, it looks like his back paddle's done for, I guess. Some starbits. But I, I really don't like talking about money on YouTube. But like, I do believe like it is really thrown upon, like, like the whole like, oh yeah, YouTube money and all this. I could never really do this as a, a full-time career because. I really wouldn't, it's like one of those things that you don't want to do like a hobby as a job, or a job as a hobby, you know what I mean? And that's really hard for me to say that, but, like, what, with what I do, this, this should end up actually. It, 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 no, it's not the end. No, it's not, that's the, it's not over yet, I don't think. No, it's not. Uh, I just find it so weird that, like, people complain about, like, oh yeah, you, you should make so much money. But why do you care, like, you've got a job yourself, you know? Oh, ball, that's like some dumb damage there. My Yoshi! My Yosh! Also, he's knocking the floor out, and if, if you can tell that, oh god, I, I, I almost died then. The, the M gaps actually are pretty big. Okay, let's jump. Why do I keep dying? I keep getting hit. It's not even that hard of a boss. Okay, let's try this again. Let's wait out. Let's, let's pick up a Billy Bill. R2, I guess. Okay. I, you like, I saw a video a few weeks ago about like how much money PewDiePie makes, which I find really, really disgusting that people actually are talking about money. Like, it's just like, oh yeah, he makes so much money just, just from what he does, but it's like, does it really matter? I I, I know some people who actually do YouTube full time. I do, I do know people who do that, and I know people who just do it as a hobby. But I always see like, you don't want to do something as like a job if it's your hobby because it'll ruin your job, it'll ruin the hobby. I like I love making videos. That's why I make so many videos because it's just like it shows my skill set as well as oh dude, that's so cool. We have to like fly up on one of these launch stars to get a next mega mega grand star thing. The whole YouTube thing it's 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 not interesting when people just say oh yeah I'm in it for the like I've heard people say oh I'm in it for the money or whatever. Yeah. Also what, how how did Yoshi just run on the floor in the middle? Of, I don't even know how we're staying up in the air to be honest there. But like so many people just think, oh, it's gonna be quick money, but it's not. It's, it's a hobby, and a lot of people forget that. Like, that's why I love like hanging around with like 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 unknown YouTubers because they see that the same view as me. Like, um, I talk about like my past on YouTube, like and all my friends from the past, and they li literally only cared about the money, and uh, it's awful. We're going to the comment middle. We've got uh, 50 stars now, which is ridiculous. Got some more coins, and we're gonna to talk to the boss, and I'm gonna continue my story afterwards. Great work, pal. That's your third grand star. All right, we're ready to fly through time and space. That monster is so, still somewhere out there. So, so let's ship out to the next world, Captain. Sounds good to me. We're going to be heading to World 4. Hell yeah. But, like, all my friends from YouTube, when I started, are, are like, I've forgotten about who actually helped them get to where they are. And I hate people who do that. Like, I believe, like, YouTube should be a community and not just, like, who can make the most money or who who's the biggest fan base, pretty much, you know. Oh, there's a hungry luma. Oh, it's gonna be, I haven't got enough starbits though, god damn it. But we, we sure come a long way, thanks to your efforts. Let's keep let's keep good thing going, am I right? The helm is yours, Captain. Thank you. The game has been saved. Let's have a look here. Oh, jeez, we, we need so many starbits. We're gonna have to come back to that later on. Super massive galaxy. Wow. 
From what I remember, this actually reminds me a bit like Super Mario 64, as um, there's like a, a galaxy exactly the same as this, where it's like, depending on how high, um, oh no, depending on what photo you go through, um, what photo frame you go through is how big the enemies are. Huge problem with big wigglers. And I kind of like that, like, Mario's never really changed, like the 3D Mario concept, but just look how big this is. I, I, I really love this level. I feel as if, like, they did get ideas from, like, Mario 64 with this level. Just look how big the loom is, Jesus Christ. We can play as Luigi in this level again, but we're not going to. Nay, nay, what up? We growing big here, watch out. Also, how come the loom is a giant on this level? I know it's like a concept or whatever, but it, it's, it makes no sense. Okay, how am I to get this? Do I just do that? I guess so. But guess what we're going to do, guys? We're going to wall jump off a coin. Coins! Yeah. I just think this is so cool, the giant Pyrano Clint, Clente. I don't know why I just think this is just such a cool concept in general compared to like every other game. I actually don't remember this like level until I actually get to it, like I mentioned. And I think that's so cool that like th this game is just like so old, for example. Well, it's not old, but you like, you know, it's not it's not a new game. I wonder if I can't see. It. Oh, cool. Also, giant bloody Koopa Troopers over there. Did not know what the enemies were called in this game. I was like, um, oh, I didn't even get the checkpoint. Oh, it's fine. Okay. I was like, what's the, what was the, what was the enemies called? Ooh, we get to use the digging power up as well. Yeah. Because I had no idea that, like, it was called, like, Koopa Troopers or whatever. Because I never really played Mario as a kid until, like, um, recently, because I was, like, a PlayStation kid. Well, I was a mixture. I was a Sega kid for a while, and then I became a PlayStation kid. I used to love something the Hedgehog on the Genesis or the Mega Drive and your region or whatever. And then I got a PlayStation 1. I didn't actually get like a, a Nintendo console until the Wii. Which is hard to believe. But, like, I have played like pretty, pretty much all the bit major, major titles for the six, uh, 64 era and all that and the GameCube era. Your spin will even work on big guys. Try it. Okay. Oh my god, it does. Wow. I'm shocked. I thought it was like going to do a troll face like. Haha, <laughs> you fell for it. I'm kinda glad it actually does work. Spin. Yeah, let's jump. Jump. For my love. I can't believe, like, this concept though, in this level. I feel as if, like, if there's a speedrun in this level though, it's gonna be pretty difficult just due to the fact that, like, it's taking us a long time just to even terrain the environment. But what can you do? How much are they curious? Oh, it's this planet. Oh, I love this planet. Like, the more you walk on it, the more flowers bloom, I'm pretty sure, if you fill the planet with flowers yet to get something let's try it out let's try it out i'm curious do you look how cool this looks and we did is it a secret star i think it's actually it is a secret star wow <laughs> i'm so happy with that let's go and get it it's like a new that is actually i think that's a really cool star because that, that's easily missable as well but yeah we've got a secret star it's 51 and I'll see you guys when we get back because I just want to meet you guys back there because I don't want to waste time. So guys, I was wrong. I'm not going to meet you back there because it looks like a good old Tonks comet has actually appeared in Bowser's Lava Lair. So I was wrong. Uh, we also opened up the path to actually get some new stars on World 4. But we're going to head back before we actually go ahead and, and go to uh, not World 3, it's World 4. Um, it's world 2 even, Jesus Christ. We're actually flying through these worlds though, like, how quick we are flying through this game. It's crazy. Bowser's Lava Lair. It's going to be like probably a Daredevil comment. I'm, I'm guessing a Daredevil comment. Uh, the thing is, like, I record these videos that inconsistently. Like, I record like two videos a day sometimes, four videos a day, one video a day. I always get confused which one it is. Oh, it's Lava Lair speedrun. Okay. Okay. It's more than I do Daredevil comments, because Daredevil comments are just like... All look based, really, but but when it's like a, a speed run like this, you can literally just like long jump everywhere. That's one reason I really don't like the first game because a certain Daredevil comet on a certain level with the um, booze or dark booze, I think that's what they're called, dark booze, which are really goddamn annoying. I'm pretty sure you can literally just long jump over here as well. Oh no! What? Did you guys just see that? I got I got pulled out of space. I'm sure you can't say long jump this thing though, like, really, I really do think you can. Buy chemic. Yeah, I'm not going to risk it this time, but I'm pretty sure that's a speedrun tactic that you can't say do that. 
But that's a glitch that if you can fall straight through Earth space and just like get caught in the middle of the gravity gravitational field, I guess. So I, I think I, I've mentioned this before, but I literally live for space. Space is just like so cool to me. It's like the best thing ever. It's almost as good as sliced bread. I actually don't like bread, so uh, that's actually a lie. I actually, actually, sliced bread is yeah. Let's see. I mean, it's a lie that um, it's as good as sliced bread. Because sliced bread is not great. I know I'm probably gonna like Daco Chain doesn't eat bread. I don't eat bread. No, I eat bread bread based pro, pro, produce sometimes, such as buns and uh, bread cakes, depending on your location or what have you. And that's kind of weird because I've never really got into like the whole bread cakes thing. Like I just I just really don't like bread. I just think it's a bit too stale, a bit too bland. Long jump. Yes, sorry, Bob. I actually do think I'm actually pretty good at this game and like how fast I can run. Don't kill me, Fawn. Please don't kill me. Oh, thank God. I gotta get hit by the lightning field, then actually die. Let's pick up another time just to make sure we can make in time. I think we're gonna make in time here. But it's nice to be sure, you know. It's, it's nice to know. Because I need to know. I just took some stupid damage. I am taking a lot of stupid damage right now, but as long as I can make in time, I'm happy. Tractor beam. Powers activate. Let's set some coins over there as well, which is gonna help me actually get some HP back. Because I really don't want to lose all my HP. I have to like restart this again. Again, again, again. Okay, that's a uh, coin. I want to play safe here. Jump. Yeah, boom. Boom. Okay. Okay, okay. We're in the clear. We're in the clear. We've got 30 seconds left. We can do this. I'm pretty sure the star's like right over here as well, so. 25 seconds left. We can do this. Come on, believe in the course. I'm kind of shocked how I haven't actually had to look up like many, much stuff in this game, like in comparison to uh, how well I remember stuff. I remember the first time I played the game, I actually didn't actually look up anything. Like, I, I literally just did it on my own accord. I was like, I felt like a god. I was like, I know this game really well. I didn't even have to like search for stuff. But uh, I really want to do like more. Oh, no, 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 oh. no, no, no. Balls, no, no, quick, quick. I really want to do like more M Mario games on my channel. And that's our start. I think I'm going to go back to the big galaxy now. Just to check that out and see if we can get like the star that we missed. So let's head back there. Well, we not really missed it. Like it's the normal star. Yeah. You guys know the one we're talking about here. Yay, 52 stars. Galaxy has been complete. Got some more star bits. And let's dive straight back in. I'll see you guys when we get back to the area where. Yeah. So, guys, we're back here. Let's pull off and uh, head back to the star with the wigglers. We're gonna get this checkpoint because I've got a feeling I may die here. We've got quite a bit of star bits as well. I've actually been finding some star bits on the way here. Oh, God. Run, 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 run. No, why did I do that? Oh, my God. I'm, I'm actually on the same path as. Oh, God. Oh, God. I'm actually gonna play safe and actually not do that. I'm actually gonna wait for the wiggler to run past. Run. Long jump, spin, and that's that's our 53rd star. I always said 52 then, I think it's 53. But yeah, just look at all those wigglers, man. Look at all those wigglers. Ah. But yeah, it's another star complete. I'm happy with it. But I think this is the perfect time to end off the episode. It's been a short one, I know. Well, it's not really been that short, it's been like 19 minutes, but I like to only do 20 minutes. But yeah, it's our 53rd star. We've got some more star bits. We've got some more coins, and uh, yeah, I think it's about time to end up the episode. So next time on Let's Play Super Mario Galaxy 2, we're going to go and actually try to feed this Luma when we get enough star, star bits, and actually go to da -da -da, Flipsville. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.